Welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can use smart actions to automate your workflow on uh, Logitech MX Master 4. So before we begin, I want you to log into your account uh, in Logi uh, Options Plus application. Uh, you can use your side account. It's much easier this way. Uh, you can use, for example, Google account, Apple account, etc. Uh, now, once you're logged in, you'll be able to use uh, custom plugins. And uh, what I want to achieve this way is that we will be able to assign uh, a smart action to the action spring. So uh, no, none of the buttons uh, on the mouse will be affected. So this uh, action will be called using our uh, actions ring. Uh, now, first of all, go to the actions ring uh, tab right here then select customize ring, then tap on the marketplace icon in the top right corner of the screen and uh, open the search field and uh, search for the smart actions. Once you find them, uh, click right here, then click install, then wait until this plugin is installed, click continue and now let's leave this menu and go back to the main page. Now select smart actions and uh, here you'll be able to find a bunch of different presets uh, that are already ready to use and all m many of them are very useful uh, in my opinion uh, so you can just click add and assign uh, assign uh, some of these smart actions to your buttons or to your actions rank uh, but I want to create a uh, sample a, a sample uh, smart action so that you know how to create your own smart actions uh, smart actions uh, using uh, all of the available features uh, in this menu. Okay, so uh, click create, uh, then uh, we'll add a trigger later. First, let's uh, create some kind of action. Now, what I want to create is I want to uh, open the Google Chrome application and then uh, and then input some, enter the, uh, the web address that will open my favorite playlist on YouTube and uh, then it will open the Photoshop application and uh, will increase brightness so we can work easier this way. Okay, so first of all, select add action, then go uh, with application, uh, then select Google Chrome and uh, you can use either bring to foreground or open application options. Click confirm. After that, uh, let's uh, give uh, the application some, some uh, delay, like one second will be enough. And then let's uh, click add action once again, and then let's use text, or no, no. Uh, first of all, let's uh, use uh, keystroke to, uh, to, use to, uh, to select the uh, search field in Google Chrome, uh, the shortcut to select a, uh, a search field is Ctrl plus L, so let's click start recording here and then use the combination of keys like this click stop recording then click confirm uh, of course uh, yeah you, you you have to also uncheck and hit this checkbox and click confirm uh, and then uh, let's enter the following action which will be text so now we have to input the web address uh, i have it preferred already so let me just copy it and paste it right here then click confirm and this uh, this action uh, will uh, open the google chrome and will enter this web address you can uh, also uh, check if uh, your uh, sequence of actions is correct at any moment and as you can see it works uh, great for now now uh, now what i want to do is i want to open a web page to do that just we have to simply press enter so let's select add action then keystroke again then let's uh, pre uh, let's press start recording and press enter then uh, stop recording let's delete this left click i didn't mean to do that uh, once again uh, uncheck this checkbox and click confirm and then let's uh, add another delay uh, so that uh, the website can uh, can be opened like five seconds i think it, it will be enough 
And then let's just minimize the Google Chrome application. So let's go with application once again. Let's select Google Chrome. And now let's uh, minimize it. Then click Confirm. And uh, after that, I wanted to increase the system brightness. To do that, click System. And then let's select Brightness up. Then click Confirm. Then let's uh, add in another ac uh, action to open the uh, Photoshop. Uh, so we we'll want to open the application. We can also give uh, it like a 10 seconds delay so it can load up. And then we'll maximize it. Like this. Confirm. And now I, I uh, didn't use the AI prompt builder as this is basically just one action. Uh, or two actions so so we can either uh, open AI prompt builder or chat GPT I, I think uh, the AI prompt builder can be useful while using Photoshop so let's let's open it too uh, okay and right now uh, let's save our sequence by clicking save right here uh, and let's uh, let's call it I don't know uh, chill work uh, we can also add a description. And then click confirm when you're ready. Okay, so now we have this, this uh, uh, smart action. Now let's go back to the main page. Let's go back to the actions ring. Then let's customize ring. Uh, select all actions in the top right corner of the screen and then select the smart actions let's expand this uh, section and now let's assign uh, this uh, shortcut to any of the available uh, bubbles right here okay first of all let me delete this folder and now let's assign it right here so let's try it uh, press the actions ring button to open the actions ring and now let's open this sequence and now let's see what it does okay so it starts the starts youtube it oh, it starts the uh, uh, the playlist that i wanted it to play okay now the photoshop is opened and now we have the ai prompt builder so uh that's basically it and that's how, how you can customize your workflow and make it much easier for you to to, to work uh, every day i hope that this video was helpful i hope i uh, explained everything and uh, now you're ready to be creative and create your own smart actions if this video helped you please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.